Hey what's up guys, this is Freeborn Fall back with another amazing tutorial and this time I want to show you how you can create ultra realistic product shots with the help of Cinema 4D 2023's amazing cloth engine. As you already know I love it and in this case I created this product you can see with this beautiful wrinkles and I just want to share the technique with you here on YouTube but just as always be sure that you will learn the whole process on my Patreon so there will be not only one level lesson about it not two lessons but three lessons in total all right so you will have all of this one on my patreon where you learn the whole process on how to create the ultra realistic product like this one with the beautiful shading and the lighting the modeling all of the good stuff okay but of course here on youtube i will also share some really useful knowledge with you okay so just before we dive into cinema 4d i just want to mention that on my patreon there is also a lesson on how to build packages like this for example just look at at how realistic and beautiful this is looking and I think I'm not sure but I think there is also a lesson on how to create this product with the wrinkles and all of the good stuff just look on how realistic this one looks and feels okay other than that there is a lot of knowledge about the simulation tools in Cinema 4D and just a lot of cool stuff okay but now let's dive into Cinema 4D and have some fun all right finally in Cinema 4D and let me just share a little bit of knowledge here all right so you can see the whole process of producing this product I divided it into five steps and the first one is the most fun and the most important one where we will use the cloth engine to create the wrinkles and the overall product okay so you can see when I just go here to frame zero and let this one play then like magic this product will take its shape with the wrinkles and stuff so you can see I get all of the wrinkles and for example when I let it play a couple frames more pause it here then I would already have like the top half of our product so you can see here this one is the top half and then we need something from the bottom to close it and of course all of the beautiful wrinkles and uh, irregularities like this beautiful arc here all right but this is something that we can do later for now we just want to create one half and maybe duplicate it to close it from the other side and you can see that is what happens in this process let me quickly talk about how I do it and I think you have already seen this one so you can see from the bottom I will use an object like this one you will find it here it's the torus just set it up how you like it and then give this one a cloth collider so you will find this one when you just right click on it go to the simulation tags and I think you can't see it here I just move it over and then it's the collider tag okay and honestly I didn't change anything here and I just use this one as a collider and my piece here this one is the plane it's a, just a plane object okay with some subdivisions so you can see I made it quite dense so I get good wrinkles and uh, enough details in the product this one of course has a cloth tag on it you can see my settings here nothing crazy honestly just clever thinking and um, using the powerful tools okay so let me play this one more time and you can see I will just move this one up so I'm pretty sure that this one will have some keyframes in the y-axis okay so I think I move it from minus 10 or something like this up of course the measurement here is not precise to a real product okay I have to be honest with you that here I wasn't really precise so this is like two meters by two meters something like that this would be quite a huge condom right so you can work more in realistic scale and yeah in that case it wasn't that important because the simulation tools in a scaling like this work really good I think you just shouldn't go crazy like putting it this one to 2000 by 2000 meters or something like that and then I'm pretty sure the different simulation parameters will just react a little bit different so more or less you could do it like me in two by two meters but of course you can also put this one down to um, 20 centimeters 10 centimeters 5 centimeters however big you want to create this product okay anyway I think you get the basic idea so you just need a collider move it up here and of course you should set for example your gravity when I just press ctrl d to go to the settings simulation and the scene then you can see that my gravity is on zero otherwise your product will just fall down and react like crazy so I have this one on zero and I think over the frames here I will just animate the gravity slightly down to for example minus one 
so that the product will just fall a little bit down. So I get this beautiful arc here, okay? And you ask yourself, why isn't the whole product falling down with the gravity into this gray void of infinity? Then I can tell you that I have something like a backplate. I just call it like that beneath my product, okay? And this one acts like a floor. So you could also call this one floor. Also give it a cloth collider. And then you ask yourself again, are you doing it that you you get this beautiful outer shape here okay and this is also quite easy it's another collider and you can see this collider has a hole in it where the product will be pushed through and then when you will deactivate all of this one then like a magic trick you will have your beautiful shape and then you can use this one further in the process okay so this was a little bit of knowledge about cloth simulations and how to work with colliders to get beautiful shapes as you already know more of the knowledge will be on my patreon as as always so it would be amazing if you support me there other than that it would be also amazing if you write a comment on youtube support me there ring the bell leave a like do the good stuff and just enjoy your weekend and uh, have a good time okay thank you so much bye everyone